Cox, also known as Alsea rosea, and according to Wikipedia, hollyhocks are ornamental dicot flowering plants in the family Malvaceae, imported into Europe from southwestern China in the 1500s. Its name comes from herbalist William Turner, coining it holy oak. It is categorized as a biennial, having a two-year life cycle, as an annual or a short-lived perennial. It often self-sows, creating the perception of being perennial. The plant takes time to grow tall and leaf out and finally bloom, so it may flower during its first year when sown early. Hollyhocks grow in many soil types and may reach 8 feet tall. They exist in a range of colors from white to dark red, pink, yellows, and oranges. Different colors prefer different soils, it seems. Darker red varieties favor sandy soils, while lighter colors seem to prefer clay soils. The plants easily grow from seed and often self-seed. Tender plants, whether from seed or old stock, may be wiped out by slugs and snails. The foliage is susceptible to attack from rust, Puccinia malva serum, which may be treated with fungicides. Commercial growers have noted closely related species Althea rugosa and Althea fissifolia are resistant to this fungus. Properties of hollyhock. Hollyhocks grow as tall as 8 feet and usually do not require staking, sometimes 9 feet. Hollyhocks produce large flowers 5 inches in diameter with large heart-shaped leaves. Hollyhocks attract hummingbirds and butterflies. Pests and diseases. The leaves are vulnerable to rust, leaf spot, anthracnose, cankers. Pest problems include Japanese beetle and spider mites. We've observed large leaf damage from leaf miners. Though damage to leaves may be extensive, the flowers are rarely affected. In herbalism, in herbal medicine, hollyhock is believed to be an emollient and laxative. It's used to control inflammation, stop bedwetting, and as a mouthwash in cases of bleeding gums. Gardening know-how Heather Rhodes states that hollyhocks add vertical elements to gardens. Hollyhocks need full sun and moist, rich, well-draining soil. Sow hollyhock seeds outside one week before last frost or transplant seedlings out two to three weeks after the last frost. Hollyhock seeds need only be planted just below the soil, no more than a quarter inch deep. They should be planted or spaced two feet apart to grow well. Bare root hollyhocks can be planted as well. They require minimal care. Their short lives, perennials, Living two to three years, their lifespans can be extended by removing growing flowers as soon as they fade. In non-tropical areas, cutting them back to the ground and mulching will allow them to return. As hollyhocks are susceptible to rust, try to water them from the base of the plant, treat them with the fungicide, and make sure to plant that the plant has good air circulation. It will try to thin I will try to thin this out next year so that they're not so clustered together. Keep pulling off brown or rusted leaves from the bottom of the plant to prevent rust moving up and affecting the blooms. According to Mother Earth News, all parts of the hollyhock plant have been used for natural remedies. Hollyhock resembles its relative common marshmallow, Althea officinalis. Both plants share similar constituents and hollyhock can be used as an alternative, although not as strong. Hollyhock provides gentle, soothing support for gastrointestinal, respiratory, and urinary systems. It is added to cough syrups, acting as a natural expectorant. Like its other relative hibiscus, Sabdorifa, hollyhock shows promise of improving circulatory health. Many prefer these drinks as could as cold infusions rather than exposing its beneficial mucilage to high heat, damaging it. In Tibet, roots and flowers are used for inflammation of the reproductive and urinary system. Teas from hollyhock flowers soothe. 
throat and oral inflammation. Topically, a poultice of leaves, flowers, or both alleviates insect bite stings or splinters. In China, hollyhock flowers are considered a delicacy. In the West, all parts of the plant are considered edible, but flowers and leaves are the most often used. Both may be added to salads or in soups. Hollyhocks are well-known dye plants. They require a mordant or fixative, however, and all colors except black will make a yellow dye. Black flowers yield pale lavender to dark purple dye. Heirloom varieties are likely single flower, but the double flower varieties include Majorette Double Champagne and Carnival Series, which is this, this kind that I have. Hollyhocks may be vegetatively reproduced, but most are planted by seed very easily. It is recommended to plant two years in a row, so you have a steady stream of blooms each July to September as their biennial. See Mother Earth Gardener's website for their hollyhock tea recipe and hollyhock soother for skin and hair recipe by Don, Don Combs. Make sure the hollyhock you use for these recipes don't have pesticides or fertilizers sprayed on them, of course. And so these are the blooming hollyhocks, and as they go up, there are bulbs that will continue to bloom upwards. And here are my other variety of, my other color of hollyhocks. Some of them are a pale pink. And in the original seed set, I think it had yellow and possibly white, but I must have only had um, in that stock the pale pink and the um, darker pink that came up. So here is how it looks when it's about to open up. And as you can see, all along the length of the hollyhock stock, there, it will bloom. And this was where we were originally started our children's garden so that um, the kids would have a shady spot um, to hang out and be surrounded by these tall, huge flowers. And they do draw bees as well. Sorry about today's video. Um, the rabbits knocked over their food. The chickens are making noise. Airplanes are flying ahead, overhead, and you know, uh, ambulances are going by. So it's been pretty hectic and noisy. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share. And this was a lot of information about a very useful very beautiful plant that I've been growing the last three years and I'm glad to have learned more about it and I hope you did too.